What's up, YouTube? Today is September 23rd, 2015, a Wednesday. I'm here in Hamilton, New Jersey, close to Trenton, in this place called Grop Lake. I'm assuming the name of this place is Grop Lake. <laughs> so I'm taking a look around for now. I'm scouting for possible good spots. We gotta do some multi-species fishing here today. Yeah. Hi, how are you doing? I'm walking the trail towards the little dam on the other side of this lake. A little bit of a rough terrain, but on the other side of this place where the dam is at, it connects the Grop Lake with the Crosswicks Creek, which is tidal. And I'm pretty sure, oh my God, <laughs> rough terrain here. And I'm pretty sure that there are Northern snake heads on that side. So that's why I came here to explore today. All right, I'll get back to you guys when I get there. All right, fellas, I'm finally here at the little dam that divides Grop Lake into the Crosswicks Creek. As you guys saw, and this is no joke, I hiked all the way from the parking lot over there here, here, here until I got where that bench is at and that's private property look how close I was from this place this is actually private property you know so what I did I walked back through the street back to the parking lot okay and I walked across the bridge there on the street walked all the way this way here and I'm finally here can you guys believe it this is the price of private properties nowadays and exploration, okay? Have to do what is lawful, takes more time. Here, we got Grop Lake on this side. Don't know how well you guys can see with this thing here. And look, this is some disgusting stuff we got right here, okay? Very, very little water coming out of Grop Lake. Very, very little. Okay, we got a lot of yellow boy down there okay from my acid mine drainage but we got a cross with creek below there as well so this is the next step now next step i'm gonna go down here i've never been down here well okay i gotta go down here next step and i gotta fish the cross with creek see what is there if there are any snake heads or not if not i gotta come back to grop lake and i gotta do some bass fishing let's do this all right gotta be very careful coming down here shoot overgrown there is a little deer trail pretty much but hey poison ivy great that's why i always use long pants you see folks poison ivy is no joke i am very resistant to it but i wouldn't risk it so all right we're finally down here at the crosswick creek Woo! took us a while huh title crosswick creek I saw some fish running away from the from the shallow area here. All right, let's see if there are any snake heads here. Yeah, there there is a concentration of fish right here. I can see this rose in the water. Water is very shallow, but there is a concentration of fish right over here. We will find out what type of fish. We'll find out if there are snake heads here. Very beautiful area. There is also a concentration of yellow boy in the water, as you guys can see. This little See this little orange thing here is called yellow boy. Results of acid mine drainage, okay? So if I do catch any snake heads, well, first let's catch them, then we talk about it. Let me set up my stuff, get everything ready. Whew. Finally do some fishing after 10 minutes of wasted time. All right. All right, fellas, before I start fishing, let me just give you guys a quick, whew, some quick info on my setup. I'm using my Sancroy Avid Pearl medium light 66 foot with my Shimano Symmetry 4000 FL, 12 pounds Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon line. And since I have no idea if there are any fish here or not, I mean it is very shallow over here, I am using a small size H Eagle Claw Hook. Okay, so I am not going with yours at the moment. I am actually going to use live night crawlers and see if anyone hits on that. And then after I catch some fish here, if there are some fish, then I'm going to switch up some lures, 
maybe cast a spinner here inside this, you know, this little area that flows. We will see what happens. All right, I'll keep in touch. Hopefully we'll catch some fish here. Let's see if anything bites on it. Oh, I got a bite right away. So there are some fish down here. That's good. Are there any snake heads here? Are there any big fish? Fish on. Fish on. What is our first fish of the day? Are you serious? Okay, our first fish of the day is a small largemouth bass. Okay, very bad coloration. A small largemouth bass from the Crosswick Creek, right below Grop Lake. Let me take a photo of this guy, save it a sample. There we go. My first ever largemouth bass from Crosswick Creek, since I've never been to Crosswick Creek before. This is my first time down here, actually. I'm exploring. All right, go away, little fella. All right, happy he goes. I am more, I mean, signs of largemouth bass are good here, but I am more interested in northern snakeheads. So, you know, this, the Crosswick Creek is a creek that feeds as a tributary of the Delaware River. So, you know, snakeheads should be here. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch one to show you guys. That's what I'm mostly, mostly interested in. Let's see if I catch anything else. Fish number two. Nope. Okay, there's fish here. Bring the kid down here. All right. Another largemouth bass. There seems to be a stunted population of largemouth bass right here. Okay. First cast, one largemouth bass. Third cast, second largemouth bass. Okay, so that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Let me release this guy here. Let's see if I can catch anything. A lot of fish. Fish on. Okay, stunted population of largemouth bass. Three, seven casts, three fish, all largemouth bass. Not a single sunny so far. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's see if there are any snakeheads around. Bring the kid over. Fish on. All right, four largemouth bass. Wow, man, it, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable, all largemouth bass, all stunted. All right, stunted population right here. This is what the people call a honey hole. And these are results of exploration. That's why I always tell people, you wanna find good places to fish. Either you go out and you explore, or hey, you watch extreme filly fishing. <laughs> all right, let me go back to fishing. so much about bigger fish but so far small fish lots of it all right second species of the day as small as it seems as small as it seems it's a bluegill second species of the day first a large mount bass second a bluegill so at least we know that there is a small sunfish population here okay there we go. First fish, Micropterus salmoides, the largemouth. Second one, the bluegill. Lepomis macrocerus. All right, two species so far. Let's see what else we can land here. And where are these snakeheads, man?
All right, third species of the day. Although small, it is a green sunfish. All right, there we go, fellas. Lepomis, Lepomis cyanellus. So, so far we got a stunted population of largemouth bass, a few bluegill, and now an authentic green sunfish, Lepomis cyanellus. Three species over here so far. I'm still exploring this place. No signs of northern snakeheads, which is weird. So, you know, we will see what happens. We'll keep you guys updated. A lot of largemouth bass, but all small. All right, fish on. This is probably one of the bigger large mouth bass that I've caught today. <laughs> Check this out. With a stunted population, you know, the size is already very nice. <sighs> All right. Sean, what we got here? Wow, four species of the day. Red breast sunfish. All right, Lepomis auditus. There we go, a beautiful sample here. Red breast sunfish from the Crosswicks Creek in New Jersey. Okay, let me take a photo of it for my records. I've been walking down the creek here at Crosswicks, you know, and this is my first sample of green, I mean, of red breast sunfish. So that's a good sign, you know, that's a good sign. There are many. I would say man-made built dams around this place so you know fish can't really move from one area to another unless there are floods so seeing another species here is actually a very good sign oh I'll keep walking downstream see if I can get to the tidal portion of this creek or the connection of the tidal portion with the known tidal that part is where snakeheads are going to be at Fish on. What we got here? Green sunfish. Beautiful sample of green sunfish, actually. It's getting a little bit bigger. You, see, you guys see? Yeah, green sunfish. All right. Right, another red breast sunfish. Beautiful sample. Whew. But still, you know, nothing, nothing too different. All the species that I usually catch. Man. And this is getting brutal because I just hit the end of my path right here, pretty much. So I don't know where to go now. I don't know if I should go back or keep going. We'll see. All right, fellas, so quick update. It's 1.47 p.m. right now. I've caught four different species of fish, largemouth bass, bluegill, green sunfish, and red breast sunfish. And after exploring this little creek, I mean, I walked all the way to the end of it. There was no more trail, you know. There was a very sketchy deer trail that I don't, you know, I wouldn't go by myself in a place like this, just in case, you know. You never know what you may encounter, you never know what may happen, right? So safety first. So I am going back the trail all the way to Grope, wait, Grop, <laughs> to Grop Lake, 
and I would do some fishing over there. See if I can catch some largemouth bass, some decent size largemouth bass or some additional species of fish. Wow, the edge, Ugh, lake. So I will keep you guys updated. It's about a 15 minute hike back here, 15 minute walk back. So I'll keep you guys whoosh, updated. I will come back when I get there. All right, let's, I'm here back at the dam. Let's see if I can catch something different species of fish. I'm using a small piece of night crawler on size eight hook. Let's see here, uh, bluegill, nothing new. Okay. Let's see, another bluegill, nothing new. This is one of the monotonies when it comes to species fishing. You have to constantly, you know, cast and catch fish to see if there's a new species. Folks usually don't see it in my videos because, you know, I edit them, right? I take a lot of fishing footage out, but there is really, you know, a lot when it comes to my multi-species, you know? I am constantly catching fish. I catch fish in huge quantities, as you guys can see. It's just that I usually take it out of the video so I don't really bore you guys, you know? I mean, why would you want to see small fish, you know, one after the other, right? The same type. It just doesn't make sense. So this is what I do, you see? It's not always fun to do the multi-species. There's a lot of uh, other things involved, as you guys can see. <sighs> right, another large mouth bass. No, I just want something new. I am actually expecting a pumpkin seed here, hopefully. Nope. I lost this one. Hopefully we'll be able to catch something and get out of here with four, more than four species of fish. Pretty much, that's the, that's the plan, you know, that's the game plan. Wow, they already stole pretty much all my worm. That's sad. So I'm gonna have an empty hook. And no new type of fish. So there you go, this is for you guys to see, you know, that when I put the fish number and fish type on my videos, you know, I am not BSing you. I have caught really the, those number of fish, okay? Let me put one more piece on. And like I said, if I don't catch any more species of fish here, I am moving back to the main lake. You know, my brother-in-law and my nephew, they're there. They're trying to catch some catfish. We'll see, I will try for largemouth bass, throw a couple senkos, see if there's anything big around there, you know, something like that. Okay, come on. I put a bigger piece of night crawler this time, if you guys notice. That's because I'm trying to exclude the smaller fish. Oh, that was a large mouth bass. Okay, there we go. Yeah, even though I tried to exclude, you see, the small ones still come up. Bluegill. Come on, fish. And there is actually, a, you know, a nice population of stunted large mouth bass here. Good for kids. So, you know, if you have kids, Come to the spot. It's right under uh, Grop Lake in New Jersey, Hamilton, New Jersey, close to Trenton. All right. Like I said, you have kids bring them here. They're gonna have a blast. Put a float, a little piece of night crawler on. You know, plenty of small fish for them to catch and play with it. All right, I'm pretty much done here. Whew! Going back to the main lake. All right, whoo, yes, yes, sir. Species number six for the day. I was just about to leave, folks. I was just about to leave. Check this out, pumpkin seed, Lepomis gibosus. I swear to you guys, I was just about to leave. I decided to give a few more casts, you know, see if there are any other species around. That's why I say never give up, folks, never give up. Even in terms of multi-species. There we go, species number five for the day. We actually got all four different species of sunfish from this place, all right? Bluegill, red breast sunfish, green sunfish, and pumpkin seed. All right, that's a sunfish superfecta right here at this Crosswick 
Creek, right down Grop Lake. Amazing. All right, I'll be back if I catch some more fish, folks. Fish on, fish on, folks. All right, first largemouth bass of the day. From first largemouth of the day from this lake here, Grop Lake, on a night crawler. I'm just gonna hook this fella here real quick. Whew! Gotta tell you, yeah, got the hook out. All right. First large mouth bass of the day from Grop, Grop Lake. Let me take a quick photo of this guy. Beautiful sample. This guy gotta be on my Instagram too, so let me take a photo of him with my phone. You know, gotta make the Instagram post for it, right? Not big, but biggest one today so far, so it counts for something. There we go, final view of this fish, large mouth bass. Okay, come on fella. There we go, whoa! Gave quite the jump on the go too. Fish on. Oh wow, jumbo bluegill. Jumbo bluegill. This place has some big bluegill. This is in the range of six to seven inches. Okay, folks, here at Grop Lake, six to seven inches. Let me take a photo of this gigantic bluegill here. Certainly a rarity for Philadelphian surroundings. Philadelphia, your average bluegill is four to five inches. All right, this one is pretty big already. Amazing, beautiful sample. My first one ever from this place. All right, there we go. You know what, Let me, why don't we just watch this guy swimming away? It's gonna be a good experience for you guys. All right. Aggressive. Fish on. Second bluegill from this place. Also not a bad size. All right, not gonna take a photo of this one. That's just so you guys can see. There are sunnies over here for the children to play with. All right, there we go. Poor fish doesn't want to eat it. Yep. Fish on. Small bass. Small large mouth bass from the bridge. Here at Grop Lake, right? Nothing big, but hey, fish is a fish. That's what they say, right? Let's see if there's anything under this dock. Come on, tell me that there's a bass under here. Nope. 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 Are you serious? Let me try again, let me try again. There's gotta be something under here. Come on.
Man, even skipping under the dock, there's nothing. That's sad. All right, let's move on. Nothing. Alrighty, folks, final update. Right now is 3.46 p.m. I fish here today at Grop Lake here in Hamilton, New Jersey. Uh, also a little bit across Week Creek. As you guys saw, I finished today with five different species of fish. Nothing big, nothing too unusual, but it was my first time down here. Beautiful place to take your kids down, okay? They have actually a couple wooden platforms, all right, that you guys can fish from, see? There are two more platforms over here, public place. Parking lot is pretty much right over here. And you know, if you go to the other side, there is the other side of this lake where I caught the largemouth bass. And if you go down there, there's the creek. So, you know, beautiful place. Once again, I would recommend myself. I don't think I'm gonna be coming back here for a while. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I already explored five different types of fish. That's good enough for me, you know? Uh, last hour or so, I was trying for catfish, anything down with two pieces of night crawler, not a single bite. That was a little bit depressing. So now I'm going to go get something to eat, call it a day. I'll see you guys next video. Tie lines.